Hello everyone, Vito Zay Freddy back again with another review. Today I have a new one that is from Sands Mines. It might be one of the first decks, I don't really recall them having any other decks, but it is the Cardistry Silicon deck. It just says Cardistry though. Let's get into it. Alright, this is the Cardistry Silicon playing cards, which features a Silicon. Apparently it's uh, it's designed for Cardistry, it's by Sands Mines, which is, I think is the first deck I've seen them produce. And apparently printed by expert playing cards, at least that's according to the advertising on, I think it was PlayingCardDex.com, or maybe it was elsewhere, but Murphy's Magic, they didn't have any information on the printer. So the front simply says Cardistry, you see the Surikin, and a little green color through it. Nothing on the one side or the other, or the top. The bottom says SandsMinds.com, with the logo. And in the back, you see the back design. There is a custom seal with the Surikin on there. Just a standard tuck case, nothing on the flaps, and then we get to the cards. The Joker, it's a green shuriken on, with a Joker in black, and it's got a special, different color back design, and then the other one is Joker in green with the shuriken in black, it's also got a yellowy back design, which is interesting because the actual back design is in this green color. So. Not only are, I mean, the Jokers are kind of strange because they are a different color back design for color changes and gimmicks. Ace of Spades looks like that. Not bad. I, I find a little bit like the Cardistry name branding kind of ripping off the Vo a little bit, I would say. You got standard court cards with neon -y green colors. I'll just show you a couple. They're fairly standard, just recolored. The Jacks apparently have green hair. And standard number cards. Like I said, I believe it's printed by Expert Point Cards from what I've seen. I could be wrong. There really wasn't a whole lot of information on who produced them. It is, however, a very thin stock. Which is why I wasn't sure who actually produced them. Still not 100%. And handling is not exactly tremendous. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not the best. Something to do with the stock and finish combo you have to use. But it's an interesting design for the backs. I feel like maybe they could have done a little bit more with it. But uh, overall, it's kind of interesting. Faces a little bit lackluster. And, uh, well, that's kind of interesting being a different color. Overall, I will say... 7 out of 10. I mean, it's not bad. It certainly leaves a little room for improvement. If it has that, comment or subscribe. We'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.